it's a little bit different for roundabout, um, for lack of a better term, slightly avant-garde play. It was written in the 1920s by a woman named Sophie Treadwell about a woman who leads a unfulfilled life and sort of what ensues from that. Sophie Treadwell based Machinal on a real trial, and she wrote the play very quickly following the actual events as they were taking place. The trial of Ruth Snyder was in 1927, and Machinal appeared in Broadway in 1928, so it was still a big piece of news, even as the play was already going up on Broadway for the first time. The play is based on the story of Ruth Snyder, who was a woman who killed her husband in the 1920s. She was the first woman executed in the electric chair in the state of New York early in 1928, and it was an incredibly sensationalized story. This is a situation where we never really knew the woman. We just knew the, the tabloid mythology and the, the sensationalized, demonized quality of a woman. But what are... And then from there, you, you can see Sophie Treadwell's interest in what are the circumstances in which an ordinary woman, nothing particularly special, nothing particularly, you know, she's not born evil or whatever, she's, what are the circumstances where an ordinary woman can be driven to commit this crime? Sophie Treadwell could have gone two easier ways. She could have made the woman at the center very clearly a victim and have surrounded her by a lot of really mean and abusive people. Or she could have created a play in which the woman who did who commits the murder is a, is a demon figure, and you know everyone else is is a victim. She didn't do either of those. She created a world in which everybody is trying to do their best. There are no bad guys in this play. There's no, there's no. Oh, it's because it was in the 1920s that she behaved like that, or oh, it's because men were really bad, or it's because oh, machines are really evil. It's there's there's no there's there's none of that. Everyone is. Um, Everyone is sort of a victim, in a sense, and everyone is, is, uh, is culpable at the same time. And what you see is a bunch of people rubbing up against each other and not getting the connection right, not because they're bad people, and the pressure builds and the pressure builds and chaos erupts. The play sort of functions as a really, really powerful critique of modern life and of sort of post-industrial capitalism and I think that that critique is as relevant now as it was then. The themes in it are, are universal, like all great plays. And, um, and the role of the woman, Helen, Rebecca's role, any woman would be able to connect to different moments. To be part of a play that has an extraordinarily powerful message and is uh, and is itself a powerful vehicle for conveying that message is, uh, is thrilling. It's an extraordinary play. Uh, wrong to say forgotten, but certainly not given its place in the canon of 20th century plays. It hasn't been produced in New York in about 30 years. Um, and what's particularly exciting is that I think one of the finest young actresses uh, in the English-speaking world, Rebecca Hall, will be making her Broadway debut playing the lead role. I'm just excited to be doing this play. I, I would be doing it anywhere. It's a bonus that I'm getting to, you know, do it in the in the city that the play was written for and at the heart of the New York theatre world. So it's sort of that that that's thrilling, and I'm. I'm more excited for the play than I am for me, as it were, because this play hasn't been done on Broadway since its debut in 1928. This is the kind of play that should be revived. I don't know why it isn't done more frequently. I think, I think perhaps it's because it's easy to see what is dark about the play, and it's, it's not immediately so apparent what is incredibly human and affirming and exciting about the play. And our director, Lindsay Turner, seems to have a kind of laser vision for those things, for what is kind of thrilling and energetically human and engaging about this story. And she's all turned us into disciples of it. I mean, it's really, I find it really thrilling. She's has a very, very keen eye for story and she doesn't she doesn't let anything sort of go into wishy-washy territory or let the production values trump what we're actually doing here, which is telling a story. I think it's fair to say that we all feel that there's this kind of electricity in it um, that is 
a combination of what we find in the play and what we find with this director, and it's a really thrilling thing for the audience. It will be a, a thrilling thing for the audience, and I'm a, I'm I have so much respect for the Roundabout Theatre and for Todd Haynes for putting on this big show. It's about the machine of life. It's about how chaotic isolation can be. It's about desperation. It's about brutality. It's about connection. It's about need. It's about love. It's about freedom. It's about you. It's about you. It's about you. It's about you. It's about you.